Hey guys, I'm here on behalf of our Heritage Tradition team to introduce our 2022 Wyoming Mule Deer Hunt video and to share some important information on a great opportunity with Go Hunt, the hunting company. www.gohunt.com If you sign up for Go Hunt Insider or Go Hunt Explorer, you'll receive points for store credit to spend in the Go Hunt gear shop. With a Go Hunt Insider membership, you get 50 points or $50 store credit. With a Go Hunt Explorer membership, you get 20 points or $20 store credit. Any e-com purchases, you'll save 10% using promo code HERITAGE. With Go Hunt Insider, you get maps for all 50 states, strategy articles, draw odds, and much, much more. So join Go Hunt today using promo code HERITAGE. Heading out for the first day of hunting. We got it all figured out already, so we should have a deer dead in the next, well, first light is in about 20 minutes, so we should be back on camera in about 20 minutes with the deer on the ground. Stay tuned. Here we are, opening day for us. We end up splitting into two groups. We're going to the north spot. They're going to the back end. Is that what that's called? We need to rename that. That's not a good idea. This is general enough, so open a day for us. Here we go. I'll get this morning. Who's the lead one? Yeah, the rear ends to you. Huh? Yeah, he just turns up. Yep. He's the lead one. Right there. Four. Go the other deer, go left, up. Find a tree now. And the one behind. They just stepped into the tree. Yeah. Yep. Quite a sunrise this morning. That was exciting. He's got up and <clears throat> they spotted a herd of deer, mostly doe, and in the back there's a Nice three by three. So, got on it. Ranging 315, 400. Every time that I got set, it was in a good position. Every time it was in good position, he wasn't set. So, that's how it goes. We're gonna keep going. Um, went around this bin up here and um, they weren't moving fast. So maybe we can get ahead of them and see what happens. So. We've seen two groups of deer so far. One had a shooter buck in it. We just weren't able to get a shot off. He, uh, he went broadside at like 400 yards, but he gave us just a few seconds. We didn't, weren't able to get one off. got up here and couldn't relocate him yet so I decided if we're gonna keep going after these or head up the ridge so more to come <sighs> yeah is that them Third one back. Going between the trees. Gonna come out of the trees. Last one. Meh. Got him. Get another one jacked in there.
I'm just gonna go. Here. Yep. We'll come back and get the stuff. I love it when a plan comes together. That redemption story. Yeah. I guess it's a good thing we didn't hurry out of the area. Well, I just heard something. What's that sound? I heard it before a couple of times. And you thought it was a shot, and I know that what I heard was not a shot. Poking him in the eye. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> All righty. That was fun. <laughs> yards out in front of me and I can't tell if it's, it's either two bucks bedded um, in the shade of a tree or it's a couple couple sticks we'll, we'll find out soon enough that was fun got the meat hanging there got the buck down there I think we're getting close to getting ready Greg's almost here that happened quick but yeah we got them all taken care of and uh, luckily we shot them in a good spot. We're only a mile and a half or so from the truck. Get them down, get the meat taken care of, get the head dropped off and uh, get back to it this afternoon. water hole I've seen three two points we're out here kind of spotting checking things out it's 120 it's been a decent day it's probably mid 70s just gotta get after them Well, on to the next spot. Um, me being tagged out, I got no gun. Easy. Uh, so we're off to the back area here and we're on four wheelers. Well, everybody but me. Uh, doing the shuttle, about three miles in with the four wheeler, drop dad off, come get me and go from there. So I'm cutting that distance down now. So. Still the first day, one buck down, and uh, about three hours left. Hopefully we see something for the end of the night here. Let's go.
walking out here still on the first night. Um, didn't see anything. It's okay. Um, but uh, we're gonna head in, get some food. We had a mess up with the lock in the place we're staying in. So we could get that squared away for the morning or for tonight so we can get in. Um, just can't get over this moon. It's crazy. It's not good for hunting, but it's pretty awesome. Pretty beautiful out here. The sun set behind me. Yeah. Pretty awesome place. It's not always about hunting. Pretty cool. Day two, back at it. Uh, we're gonna go up the spot where I shot the uh, two point yesterday. Um, saw some other big bucks in there, so we're gonna see what we see today and um, hopefully we can get one of these guys down. Uh, again, look at that sunrise. And we're uh, fogged in already this morning, but we're heading up there. Get all this fog in just a second, so. Keep it updated. Buck is in those bushes right there. Took a shot. Still on target. I think we might have a buck down, boys. niche that's where we started spotted a buck further out moved in on him that one from the video we took we went this way down this ridge on the back side all the way down over crossed right down there and went right up back on this knot on this hill right here and right about up here I got him at 86 yards he presented low and away and I put one in him and he's right he's right in there so we're gonna walk up to him right now
Okay guys, there he is. He's getting pulled out. Nick's just gonna work his way down to me. He's coming down the mountain right now. We'll get him carved up and packed out. Well, we're gonna head out for a minute. It's about one o'clock. We're gonna go pick up Greg, uh, grab a couple things. Um, it's been a good morning. We've seen uh, 19 deer, uh, 10 of those are bucks. Uh, I think at least six or seven of those, any of these guys would be willing to shoot. Um, problem is, is they're all on private and bedded. So I think the plan is we're gonna sneak out Grab Greg, grab a few things, like I said. Grab some more water, it's hot. Um, come back in for the evening and see if those things move. So, uh, should know more here soon. Heading back in to see those bedded box. And the other ones, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what happens. out and look for those some of those deer that were bedded and end up only seeing a few does and a couple spikes um, but for the day in this area we uh, saw 36 deer uh, 11 of those are bucks and hard to complain about that uh, additional 10 or 15 or so on way off private just off in the distance so plenty of deer here also got word that Somebody might have got one down to another group. Um, don't know how much details yet on that, but uh, hopefully we'll find out and see what happens. <laughs> Well, morning of day three. Got a beaver swimming back there. Got here a little earlier this morning. It's Greg's day, it's day three. Keep that streak going. Uh, I think the three tag holders are all in one spot today. So uh, congrats to Michael Mejia for that shot yesterday. Get that three by four down. Uh, so each day we got a buck. So keep that streak going and uh, 
yeah, let's go. He's moving left. He's hurt. He's the middle one. He's the which one? He's the middle. I can't tell which one the middle one is. Uh, he's right behind the tree to the left. He's broadside to us. He's, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's four. Yeah. I don't know which one I hit. Uh, he's the second one to the right. He's half. He's lower than the rest. Hold on. He's gonna. He went down. He's he's bedded. Okay. Dude, the one on the. There's one, two. The tall one on the the one you see furthest left. He's the tallest. He's down next to him. You're the one you hit. Okay. He's right. He's right by that one. Okay. So I see two. Two to the right. And then one to the left. The one to the left. Do you see him behind the tree? Yeah. Go to the, split those two trees, he's bedded right there. Okay, he's probably hurt. Yeah, no, he's definitely hurt. I saw him limping. Okay. I heard, I heard the thwack, so. Okay guys, we saw this guy at 320 yards, got in on him, niche got up, got a shot, it uh, traveled about 10 yards, fell down, and now we've got this beautiful 4x4 right here. Now the work begins. 2022, Wyoming deer, kill shot. so good.
Ken, Ken. Hit. Dropped him. Congratulations. Couldn't have done it without my guide. Golly, that was exciting. There he is. All right. Solid three. Couple eye guards. Double eye guards. Kind of like your buck up at. Yeah. No complaints on that guy. No. Nice job. Congratulations. That is cool. You were a good guide. <laughs> Been here before. And that was fun. Had to hoof it up this hill to get up on a rock to get some cell phone service. Um, let uh, Greg know. It sounds like Niche uh, got one down up, up in the same unit here. So one tag left. Uh, Greg's on his way. Get another set of hands to help pack some stuff, I think. Um, but yeah, some people wanted some heads up on it. So Dad got some water, kind of got his stuff out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get going on this thing and pack out. It's a beautiful morning. Another beautiful day here. See him back there. You're grabbing that neck, right? Yeah. Perfect. Is there any way you can be able to, with your fingers, kind of push him one way or the other? And then back. Unfortunately, we lost a little meat here. We're just gonna debone it and take take as much good of it as we can. Andrew's doing a good job helping out with that. Well, we're packed up. 
loaded heading out two and a half three miles or so but we're in this hole here that we got to get out um a lot of shot loss so unfortunately we had to spend some more time and clean up uh some of the dead shot there so i think i think we got most of it tidied up here and we're gonna head out and head up that hill there got a few of these to go over till we get to some sort of flat road or ground or something to get us out of here so awesome one more tag to go let's go we got three or four days more to go to get that one done so maybe surprising family by getting home early pretty exciting here comes andrew and mike after uh mike just got his buck heard that shot and thought it spooked all of them off. Oh. That's a nice buck, man. Yeah. Mitch. Thank you. Bucks down. Get these guys out of here. Got Gray going back there. We can get after it. We'll uh, drop these things off and come back and get them. Man, what a day! Well, we got the meat and heads taken care of for that. Um, I'm heading back in. Uh, Greg's been hunting all day. Uh, he's the last tag to fill. Four bucks in three days with uh, three days to go. Um, yeah, I'll probably get feel a lot of questions of, what the heck, you shot a two point opening day, drove to Wyoming? Yep, absolutely. Um, we had this tag last year and uh, uh, four tags, we only filled two of them. Uh, we were holding out a little bit for higher quality and um, famous saying of, uh, if you're happy with the deer on the last day and you see him on the first day uh, go ahead and take him so um my family's out of venison out of meat and uh want to make sure we had had uh, uh venison for the off season here fill the freezer so i'm happy i would not complain never complain it's a good problem to have good problem to have to look back and go oh darn that's okay it's all good can be happy man i'm excited this is cool this is cool. We have uh, plenty of time to get Greg's figured out and uh, get it squared away. So, man, it's hot. Whew. It's like 75 degrees. Um, it's about 4 o'clock right now. So I'll see if we can get a buck here at the end and be done with it. Um, if not, will be out tomorrow. So see how tonight plays out.
day four. I did about a few miles up here. Um, one tag to go, three days left to hunt. It's exciting. We're uh, looking up this glassing knob right now. It's first light, so I better shut up and start looking. <laughs> Heading out of the area on day five. Just saw one deer all morning as a buck, but uh, when he came up, um, came up on him and spooked and off he went and never saw him again. So we're uh, about noon heading out. Um, we're gonna make a play on a whitetail that we've been watching the last few days um, you know, outside the river. Um, some access over there and we're gonna head over here in a few hours after lunch and get set up and um, he comes out at last light pretty regularly, so pretty excited about it. Um, get this deer done and get this trip trip over and head home. So we'll see you in a little bit. Three thirty, second to last day. Still have not got a buck. Working our way in to go get Big Tom right now. Should be a buck on the ground in about three hours. Stay tuned. Well, here we are. Set up this little blind, natural blind that was here. Greg set up. It should be coming over to these fence here in about two hours. So we're set up, ready to go and uh, hopefully get this done tonight.
last day. Yep. Coming out of the hill here. Not much content on this one. The uh, wasn't much happening. We saw five doe first thing this morning, and that was it. So we uh, the plan last night with the whitetail um, came to perfection, except they crossed into public right after dark. So we are going to um, try that plan tonight. Hopefully they come over a little early. It's kind of our last shot, and otherwise we are heading home uh, first thing tomorrow. All right, last night. It's our evening here that we're going out to the spot. Like I said, we uh, had the plan perfectly last night where we knew where they were going to come out, about what time, and uh, got up there early, got a blind, got a, everything set up, and everything worked to plan, except for they jumped the fence right after shooting light. So um, we've seen them in there earlier, so we're, uh, we're crossing our fingers that tonight's the night that uh, they're going to come over just five, 10 minutes earlier and uh, get this done. So again, last day, last tag, it's exciting. You know, it's a great evening. It's a great spot. We've watched these uh, whitetail in the spot for the last four years we've been coming over here and really have never, never made a play on them before. So um, tonight it'll be fun. About a mile in that we gotta go, get set up. Yeah, let's get this done. Set up in the blind here. We got a shooter and a spotter. Another spotter. Set the bushes 150. And hopefully they're gonna uh, cross that fence right there from left to right. That's the plan. Let's do this. He's down. He's down. He's down. Did I get it? He's down. I think I got him. Hold on. Just wait a second. He he crashed. Lip and look down.
know about that. Dude, last day, last hour. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a great buck. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Holy that's smokes. That's a beauty. This is yeah. awesome. Dude, that's a great buck. Yeah. Look at the shot. Oh, perfect. Hey, yeah. where's Mike? He's getting the shoot. You see him jumping on his butt up here. That's that's gonna be a good eat one. Oh my god. Dude, gosh. heck yes. This is so awesome. I knew he oh, rolled. I, I know. I saw him roll. Of course, I moved the camera so god, it was he's tiny, but yes. Dude, that's a perfect buck. It's perfect. Yes. That's a perfect buck. Oh my gosh. Where's my heel? He set the camera down or the. He's back there. Where'd he go? He's over there looking for blood. We're here. Hey, he's down. Yes. Dude, he didn't go far up that ridge at all. Dude, congratulations. That yes. is awesome. Dude, that is awesome. Oh my gosh. Love when it comes together. I mean, you called that like you can't believe it. That was, it was ridiculous, Andrew. Holy <laughs> crap, good plan. Holy smokes. Don't you wish you would have hunted the evening over there? Huh? Yeah. Don't you wish you would have hunted over there? Too? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, can we grab some pictures real quick while there's yeah. yes. daylight? Yeah. How many boxes are we checking today? Huh? How many boxes are we checking today? What do you mean? Oh White my tail, gosh, yeah. Last light. I said when we started this when we started this hunt, I said I wanted to do a night pack out. I've never done a night pack out before. What I like. Well luckily it's only a mile, so <laughs> it's flat. <laughs> it's flat and it's a mile and I know we gotta walk yes. one direction. God, Greg, that is, oh my is gosh. So perfect. Yeah. That was so awesome, dude. Bigger than kind of what we thought. Yeah. Yeah. I could see the three. I didn't know he me was and, there. Me and Andrew saw him from uh, literally a thousand yards away on that ridge two days ago. Yeah. Hence this plan. Perfect plan. Oh my god! But it took two nights. But oh yeah. Heck, Mitch is gonna crap. Oh yeah, dude, that was so perfect. Fuck down. The whole setup. The whole setup was perfect. Oh. The oh. fact that we had to deal with those does. Your for kids an are hour. gonna be excited. Oh Get my gosh. Us. Yeah. Dude, you're hoping just for something, and look what you yeah. got. Yeah. I guess it'll be. Yeah, four by four. I'll trade set. you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy smokes! Sweet. Okay. Let's get to work, huh? Yeah. Let's yeah. Do it. Teamwork getting done tonight on the project. And you were a part of it. We were going to do the packs, but then we were going to pile a bunch of rocks in yours to make it heavier. <laughs> but no, he was a nice guy. He's taking half the deer. Yeah, thanks, Mejia. Okay. Yeah. We got, we got everything, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I have keys, phone, wallet. Gun. Oh, phone. Check. Phone. Wallet. Yeah. Stop shadows. The shadows are badass. Look at the shadow right there. <laughs> you see that? On the ground? Yeah. No, turn sideways. That is super cool. Nice. Yeah, Chris is gonna be stoked. So you, when we get back to range, you can message the group. Oh yeah. And that's when he could load it. 
think a lot of people are going to hear about it in about 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's it guys, thanks for watching the 2022 Wyoming Mule Deer Hunt. Make sure you hit that link, subscribe, and watch those videos. Appreciate it guys.